Hello brothers and sisters in Christ. I just wanted to do one last quick uh, walk and talk. And um, I'm going to be taking a break from the ministry for a good while. I'm going to focus on my marriage and my walk with the Lord. A lot of change has been going on. and um, I just didn't want to leave you guys hanging. And uh, try not to get dripped on. It's the rainy season here. It's very windy. I've got a tree falling down. And so much other things that have been going on but uh just want to let you know that i'll be uh taking a break from the ministry for a good while uh, i just want to encourage the brothers and sisters in christ to uh, be courageous you know, the lord's really blessed me with let me be part of the ministry for the short time i was and be courageous don't be foolish the whole point was to encourage the brothers and sisters in christ to live by the word of god to read study uh, sing hymns um, stand for absolute truth uh, live the Word of God. Uh, that goes into the, the newest thing I started doing with about the walk and talk. Um, you can't be all talk. Uh, you got to live the Word of God. You can't just, you know, like I said, you just can't be talk. You can't be all talk. And most times, uh, you're going to have little talk and your walk's going to speak for itself. You really don't have to say much. People look at you and see how you live your life. Uh, that person's a Christian or what stand you take by how you live your life. Um, words have meaning. Make sure that you're not falling into the trap of people who come up with their own definitions. Basically, they like to redefine words in the Bible so it fits what they want to believe. And uh, don't fall into that trap. Uh, please stay in prayer. I could use your prayer. My wife and I could use your prayer. Uh, brothers and sisters in Christ overseas that are being persecuted could use your prayers. The Jewish people could use your prayers. All brothers and sisters in Christ, period, can use your prayers. Uh, ministries can use your prayers. Uh, pray, pray, pray. Stay in prayer with the Lord 24-7. You yourself could use prayer. <laughs> uh, you know, talking with the Lord about you and your life. And I talk to him all the time about my walk and my life. Um, and... Uh, Right now, I got a responsibility to my wife, and I got a responsibility to my home, and I still have a responsibility to God every day, every second of every day. Um, but all these things were like key points that God had motivated me. Um, so just make sure that you're staying in the Word of God, uh, memorizing hymns, memorizing verses in the Bible. Make sure to apply those verses to your heart, like your life, uh, things that you've seen things that you've experienced and go through, what they mean to you. That's how you hide God's Word in your heart. It's not just, you know, uh, just words in your head. You know, head knowledge, basically. Uh, Thy word have I hid in mine heart. Uh, the Bible talks about how singing psalms, praise and hymns, you know. Uh, make sure you're singing an old hymn daily. You know, music that brings glory to God. Not music that, uh, what do you say? Okay. Uh, not music that's secular. Uh, I'd say get rid of all the secular music. Doesn't matter if it sounds innocent. Uh, when your life is getting tough, um, brothers and sisters in Christ, my job is to encourage you not to, you know, hammer you uh, down, but to encourage you. Uh, when life gets tough, you know what you got to do? You got to get everything out of your life that doesn't glorify God. No matter how innocent it looks, even if it's not even a sin doesn't glorify God, get it out of your life. Just focus on reading the Word, studying the Word, prayer, hardcore prayer. Uh, make sure you're listening to old hymns. Get all secular stuff out of your uh, life, music. Even if it's just temporary, but get it all out of your life. Make sure you're working with your hands and doing good things with your hands. My wife loves gardening. She's an amazing gardener. I can't keep anything alive that long, but she can. And... Um, yeah, it's just, make sure you're working with your hands, uh, woodworking, yard work, uh, sometimes you can be do art, like paintings, I like painting, I don't like the new satanic, you know, agenda of the art world, because it's just really gotten bad, but, you know, painting sceneries, oceans, my favorite's oceans, uh, mountains, rivers, you know, a homestead like a farm, you know, stuff that's real, that's the kind of art that I love, but, um, a lot of things you can do, uh, projects, you know, building a shed, uh, building a shelf, you know, just all kinds of stuff. Make sure you're working with your hands. Make sure you're still making spiritual sacrifices all the time. 
getting bad things out of your life, things that are hindering your walk with the Lord, okay? Get those things out of your life, okay? Keep walking and walking with the Lord every day. If you find out that it's all talk and you're not really walking, you need to pick yourself back up and start walking and make sure you're focusing and you're walking with the Lord. Okay. So, um, and then the gospel. Big thing. That's, that's really number one thing right now. You look what's going on over there in Jerusalem. And I think they sacrificed a, a lamb. They have a altar that they did a big ceremony uh, for the third temple that's being built. I looked at some things, it was pretty weird that the third temple, they're trying to say now it looks like Herod's temple, it's not actually the temple that the Jewish people used, and they've got all kinds of satanic thing going on, you got Jews that are against it now, and it's like, what's going on over there? Um, God knows, but uh, you need to be preaching the gospel. Make sure you're ordering gospel tracts, make sure you're laying them everywhere, make sure you're handing them out to everybody you possibly can family members, if you haven't told them about the gospel, I, I've verbally talked to a lot of my family members and my neighbors, but uh, if, if you don't have that courage, just leave a gospel tract in your family member's house. Just lay it somewhere. Um, somewhere you know they're going to come across it. Uh, you know, Leave it at a, a neighbor's house. You're helping them out. Just leave it laying somewhere. It's not, it's not worth trying to gain and keep favor. Oh, car coming. Victoria, come here. Truck's coming. Come here. It's not worth... Here. Come. It's not worth keeping them happy. I gotta let the truck pass by. It's not worth keeping them happy and not preaching the gospel to them. You really got to risk losing friendships, uh, being, you know, because uh, we did that study about so friends sometimes can mean the opposite of enemy and being reconciled to the world. That's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about being friendly, neighborly, or family that you love. You got to risk losing everything to preach the gospel. You got to be willing to lose everything. Uh, so. Yeah, it's windy. I can see. I don't know if you can see the white. Yeah, a little bit. Just moisture in the air that's just flying by. But yes, I will be stepping down as far as, you know, taking a break for a good while. It might be six months. It might be a year. Whatever it takes to, you know, help me get back in this new life uh, living. Getting married is a big change. Um, and I love my wife and she loves me. And our life here, we're trying to figure out what God wants for us, some changes that are going on in our lives. And uh, I lost my good glasses, so I had to find some old ones that are weird, but uh, to help me see a little bit. So thank you for your prayers for my eyes. Thank you for your prayers for us, and just continue to pray for us. And just know that uh, we love our brothers and sisters in Christ out there, and we will still continue to support good Bible-believing ministries, and we are... I'll probably still try to see if maybe doing some walk and talks here and there, but Bible studies, I'll be putting all that on hold, hardcore. And um, just uh, just know that uh, grace and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all, brothers and sisters in Christ, and my love for you in Christ Jesus. So stay strong, stand, 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 don't faint. Time's running out for those who are lost and... Uh, Jesus is coming back any day for those who are saved. So, see you in the next video, whenever that will be.